Hi friends! Today I'm going to attempt to show you my newest planner haul. If you can't tell, and honestly if you can't, I don't know how you can't, this is like the jankiest setup I've ever had in planning history. So I am trying to use my new microphone to go through the camera so that maybe your audio quality will be a little better. We're going to see how that goes. I make no promises. Uh, also, this is the first time I've done an overhead shot from this desk and I'm like at the corner, like the corner is here. So I, I don't know. This setup isn't really working very well, but hopefully when I redo um, my bookshelves, I'm going to be redoing a few other things. So hopefully uh, it'll help with that as well moving forward. But for now, this is what you get, plus a giant eyeball, which is fun for everybody. Today I'm going to be showing you everything that I purchased in the last couple of weeks, getting ready to start bullet journaling. Uh, if you want to know the reason why, basically it's just that um, for the past, I don't know, three years I've been doing Happy Planner. Actually, I think it's four years. I think I started in 2018. Um, and I'm really just not happy with anything that Happy Planner is releasing for next year. I basically was going to have to buy like 53 different versions of covers and planners and things to get what I wanted. And I decided that, you know, I would rather just make my own and have exactly what I want. Uh, I'm not the most, uh, crafty of people as far as like being able to draw, but I have, you know, 9,000 happy planner stickers so I can use the stickers in here and basically what I'll just be doing is figuring out you know what I want on the pages so I feel like that's probably a good place to be also another reason is because I really have wanted the majority of like my monthly reading stuff I don't mind my yearly reading stuff being in a separate journal but my monthly reading stuff I really want to be with my daily planner and it's really hard to do that in like a cohesive way that makes sense on Happy Planner, um, just because you have so many pages that, you know, are front and back and both pages are important and it's just a hot mess. Um, so I'm hoping that I can do that myself here. One of the biggest reasons why I switched to Happy Planner was just the joy of being able to move things around. And I definitely still think that that is a very valuable aspect of Happy Planner. And I think that's probably something that I'm going to miss is being able to move things around. But I also know that these journals don't have to be perfect. I can, you know, tear pages out, add pages in, whatever. So I'm, I'm trying to be less perfect and less stressed and uh, hopefully get this to work in my advantage for next year. So anyway, let's get to the thing that you're actually here for, which is all of the things. I'm going to slide the big things over and we're going to talk about small things first because that is the way that I live my life. Also, can you tell how beautiful and dirty my desk is? Um, so I'm going to link a video by Jashi Curran down below, who is someone that I've been following who does bullet journaling for years because a lot of the small things that I picked up, I picked up because... Of her recommendations. Um, so the first is this Creative Memories Corner Punch, um, which is essentially, so when you have a regular piece of paper that you're wanting to put in the planner, oh there we go, and it has a square page, you could just do this and do that, and it makes it rounded to match the actual page of the planner. So um, I did purchase some things from Etsy um, so that I don't have to write like all of these things out. I'll probably be printing some of these out um, like this page that's just book ratings because I have a printer and I have extra paper. Um, I'll probably do that rather than hand write all of these out. And I think that's one another way that I'm going to be supplementing um, things that I already own because I have nine million extra sheets of paper. So when I want to glue one of these into the planner, I can make the pages match instead of having square corners on those. Um, I love this thing. I've just been like goofing off with it for a week and it's fantastic and I love it. So happy purchase there. Um, the other thing, plain ruler, nothing fancy there. Just a plain clear ruler. Did I already own a ruler? Yes. 
However, the ruler that I had was a full 12 inch ruler and this is only eight. Um, so I think this is more manageable for the bullet journals that we have. Do we now just have a pencil sharpener? Yes, we have a pencil sharpener with, with a bin collection. That's right. Why do you buy a pencil sharpener? Because you bought pencils. Uh, these are Faber-Castell. This is the ones that Jess at Jashi Curran recommended. Um, they go from like a lighter to a darker. They're basically sketch pencils, but because, you know, you tend to sketch things in. Uh, I have found that I do own like two mechanical pencils, but they are very hard to erase lines in a bullet journal. Um, so these were recommended. That's what I picked up. Speaking of Faber-Castell, I also picked up these Faber-Castell Pit Artist Pen Fine Liners. There's four of them. Um, they are size, I think it's 0.3 to, yeah, the smallest is 0 0.3 and the largest is 1.0. Um, they're all just black. They have like very thin nibs that you'll never be able to see. There it is, kind of, sort of. And then the 1.0 actually has like a flare pen. Uh, do I already own a crap ton of pens? Yes, if you missed my last um, planner supply video, I will link that down below. Uh, but essentially I own a lot of pens already, but not very many blacks, surprisingly. I have a lot of colors, but not a lot of black. So picked those up. Um, the last thing that was recommended by Jess was the Stadler, Stadler. I don't know. There's a lot of letters in there, um, but it is just a, hello, focus. There we go. It's just a stencil for regular shapes circles, hexagons, etc. It's small enough that I can actually put it in the back pocket of the planner. So picked that up. Now we'll talk about the pretty things that you actually care about. Uh, since we discussed stencils, uh, these are from Notebook Therapy. So I actually ordered three bullet journals. <laughs> Only two of them are here. I ordered three. Um, one I ordered to do like yearly things or long-term collections. Uh, essentially I won't be starting that until the new year and that will be where I will be doing like all of my writing stuff and my yearly reading things. And I made a list of like things that I want to keep in there, but when, once the year starts, we'll go over that some more. Um, the other is going to be like my regular monthly to weekly style planner basically just like my current planner. I'm going to start that in October, mostly because again, I really want my reading stuff to be with my social media stuff because it, I, my social media is based off of my reading. So it makes sense, right? I want to be able to have all of those things together. So I'm going to start that in October because October is our 31 books in 31 days. And you know, that just seemed like a better idea. So um, notebook therapy, I got a planner from there, which we'll see that in a minute. Uh, but I went ahead and got these stencils as well. Um, I will link all of this stuff down below. These stencils are fantastic. So they are actually a set of six bullet journal stencils. I don't know. Do I have something dark so that you'll be able to actually see here? Um, so essentially these are like stencils that you use for basic practices in bullet journals, but most of them are things that you use with other things. So like this stencil in particular, you put these lines down and then you put these lines on and then it's like a habit tracker. Um, there are multiples of these. They all have a different line on the side so that you can use them as like banners and things. These were not inexpensive. Um, they were fairly expensive, but I'm, I'm very excited to use them. Um, these, they show you how to make like circle trackers with them with the lines and the different size circles. And then this guy here, um, when I ordered these, um, I got an email immediately that was like a, how to use our stencil guide. So they actually show you like, you know, you use this wavy thing and then you use these on top of it, or you use this line, you use these on top of it. They also show you how to use like this wavy line with these to make like a different kind of banner. 
So they actually give you ideas on how to use everything together so that um, you'll know how to use it properly. Uh, they also show you like different thickness of pens to see like what each thing looks like. Um, but they've got like a star rating thing. They've got a money saving. So you draw the jar and then you draw the lines in it. They're just very interesting little things. Uh, but I saw these and I was like, must have. So have. Also from Notebook Therapy, I picked up these beautiful, glorious Falling Stars washi tape set. Do I need washi tape? No. Did I buy these anyway? Yes. They're gorgeous. They're lovely. Look at this guy. It is legitimately just like falling stars with clouds. So pretty. This one is like a purple and metallic sky with clouds and moons and stars. Probably can't even see that when it's so light. Woo! So I'll link these down below so that you can get a better look at them, but they are absolutely gorgeous. And come in this really cool box that I really like because it's pretty. I will link in the notebook that I actually ordered from Archer and Olive. Um, because the other thing is I ordered notebooks from three different places. Um, the three places that I hear about the most. Uh, Archer and Olive, Amanda Rach Lee, and Notebook Therapy. Those are the three I hear about the most, so those are the three that I purchased. Um, just as like a kind of a comparison thing. And the Notebook Therapy journal comes in this really cool box uh, that gives away the cover, but I don't really mind so much. Uh, a, the box is absolutely gorgeous. And that to be the cover that we got. So this is just the Falling Skies version, uh, Falling Stars version rather, not Falling Skies. I mean, I guess the sky is falling, uh, but Falling Stars version. And so it's got the little lines with the different stars, moon, etc. Um, very pagany, very just. It has two, just like a silvery beige color. What are those things called? Bookmarks, that's what they're called. It has holographic edges and it looks gorgeous. White pages, I'm very excited. Uh, this one is gonna be my long-term collections. So my yearly stuff will be in this one. And the one that I ordered from Archer and Olive, again, I'll link that one down below so you can see what the cover is of that one because it's not in yet. Um, but I do think it's gonna be very similar to this one, like texture wise but it is just like the phases of the moon across the front and it's black and that is actually going to be it's going to be a bit of a grimoire I have not I'm a I don't want to say I'm a really bad pagan but I'm a really bad pagan and I haven't really done any studying in like the last decade most of my studies I did in my late teens early 20s mid 20s and have kind of just not really spent a lot of time with that part of my life uh, and it's something that I want to get back to. So I think I'm going to be um, keeping a journal of like things that I'm learning, like pick up some craft books and um, do some reading and things and start keeping notes on what I am learning there. And that's what I'm going to use the third book for. And then so my daily, monthly, whatever, the one that I'm starting for October is going to be this one from Shop Amanda Rage Lee. Uh, it is a dotted notebook, 160 pages, 160 GSM, all of the fun things. Um, I don't love the like typical doodle notebooks that Amanda Rachel Lee has, like the where they just have the doodles on the front. Not a fan, uh, but I found this like purple swirl one, and I love purple, um, and it's it's very pretty. So I, when I had to pick this one up, this one also has two bookmarks in it. One's just like a regular flag. The other one has this charm on it that's adorable. Um, has a pen loop. The other one I think had a pen loop also. Um, and just your nice pretty paper. Uh, I have been using like a off brand, I think I picked, got it at Sam's Club, bullet journal for the past like month. 
um, but the dots are much larger and definitely not a, as nice of a quality of paper. So I'm excited to get started on this for October. I will be, I think that because I'm going to be using this as my reading journal and as like my weekly planner, um, that I probably will be able to go through this in uh, three to four months. So I'll probably be buying one of these every once in a while. And that's why I don't mind starting in October. My thing is like, I am not your typical bullet journaler. Like I don't do mood trackers and habit trackers and like, that's just not my jam. Really. I just need like a list for events and a list of to do's and that's pretty much about it but I like it to be pretty. Like one of my favorite things to do is just to design with stickers and have a good time. So I definitely think that um, I will be doing like some flip throughs and things on the channel uh, overall, um, but I definitely will not be doing any plan with me's because what we have learned is that Jessica hates those. Um, she had her own planner channel and it was a hot mess. Um, but I do have a planner Instagram where I will be posting my spreads. So if you want to check those out, also my name on Instagram has changed as well. Both my regular Instagram and my planner Instagram. My regular Instagram is now the Hexed Library and my planner Instagram is the Hexed Planner. Uh, if that's any indication of what the YouTube channel name will be changing to in October, uh, it's the whole name. It's going to be the Hexed Library, but I will be waiting to change everything until the actual. I hired a logo designer and I should be getting my logo designs back uh, beginning of next week. Actually, I'm hoping that by the time you see this video, I've seen my preliminary designs. I may not have, but I hope that I have because I'm very excited. So I'm hoping to do like a rollout of um, all of the new uh, channel name, channel designs, all of that fun stuff coming up at the beginning of October. So now you know what my channel name is going to be and you know what to look for and you know all of the fun things that I purchased because that was it. That's all of my things other than the things that I can't show you because they're not here. Um, I did also, because <laughs> I'm a horrible person, I did also order some washi tapes from the washi tape shop, I believe is what it's called. Again, I found those on uh, Jashi Korn's uh, YouTube channel. Uh, she was using them in a spread and they were gorgeous. I'll link that video down below as well so that you can see like the ones that I got in action because um, they're gorgeous. I think that's it. I think that's it for me today. I hope that you liked this uh, carry off of what we're normally talking about uh, but do expect more planner content in the future it's not going to be all planner content we're still talking writing and reading we're just throwing more of the planner stuff in there uh, that is all I have for today I post reading writing book and planner related content a couple of times a week if you don't want to miss anything I have going on in the future make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell down below and until then I will see you guys next time bye My heart is so hollow,